Bob is brilliant, but there's much more about him. He is a man of great integrity, and he's incredibly modest. Many people like myself could potentially be very intimidated by him, but he really is a normal guy. Immunology has been a rapidly evolving field. We now know that so much of disease is either prevented or induced by the immune system, either doing things right or doing things wrong. This is part of the art of science. All the evidence from our lab really began to show that the immune system could indeed see cancer. Not only see it, but in many cases prevent it. We've identified a new type of lymphocyte that is present in tumors as they become insensitive to checkpoint therapy or interferes with vaccine therapy. Where we are right now is, can we take this and translate it into humans? Then clinical trials could be really exciting because we may make cancer immunotherapy much more effective than it is now and much safer. As with all of these extraordinary insights, the end game is, is always uncertain, but the promise here is extraordinary. And, and like all great advances, it's built off of decades of work in Bob's lab and other labs around the world. I think for him and for his peers, the opportunity to accelerate the translation of insight into clinical settings is what the whole medical school is intensely focused on. Bob is deserving of this Distinguished Faculty Award due to his groundbreaking research and the impact that he has had on not only Washington University scientists, but on immunologists all over the world. It's an incredible honor to be the recipient of this award. The selection committee is our own colleagues. These are the people you want to impress the most because these are the people that you live with here. To get this award really just is a wonderful thing at the end of your career.